Welcome to Grey Overload. I get to upgrade a friend's computer, so we're going to put some parts together before he brings over a machine and we uh, put these into it or swap out the parts. But he's going to be getting a Ryzen 7 7800X3D along with uh, 32 gigs of RAM and then this Gigabyte uh, B650 Gaming X AX V2 motherboard. Now, this is the kit that uh, was at Micro Center which was a pretty good price there for $4.99. And um, so if you're, if you're in the market or, you know, you're looking to upgrade, this, this is an option that you can have uh, here for that. But let's get started. Let's just throw some of this in here. And we're only going to be putting this in. And he has a cooler um, AIO that we'll be using. So we'll have to reapply thermal paste or, you know, clean it off, apply thermal paste, stuff like that. But here we're just going to add in the CPU. So you have the socket there. Now, I believe the socket, there is a triangle up on top. If you can see that it's up here, there's a little triangle. So you know that the triangle on there, easy matching. If this is your first time, it just fits in there. Then this pops in. That pops off, which is what you wanted, and uh, well, the CPU is already in. That's that's it. Not too hard there. And then we're going to add in this. Now this memory is um, whatever was in, with the bundle it was 32 gigs of DDR5 6000 and CL36 on it. So that's what we have, and. Uh, it does label on here which ones to do first, which are B2 and A2. So then we're going to put these in. Did I? Oh. I'm so used to motherboards only having one, but. Oh, the wrong way, of course. So we'll put that in. That those click. Put this one in, those click, and now we're all set. So the cooler, once I get it, and you'll see the rest of this, we'll put it in the case, get the cooler on, um, everything else, and then we'll be off to the races. But I'm going to continue this build here in a little bit, or in a little while, I should say. So I'll see you in a second. So I'm back. We got the CPU and memory in. Now, if you really wanted to test this out, you can put a cooler on the CPU, plug in your 24 pin and then uh, your power up here, um, a pin and four pin and try to boot it. Now you should be able to see lights right here. Let me, they have, yeah, so they have four lights right there, LED lights, if you can see those, and they should light up with um, probably OS and or, and or VGA not connected. So you could do that. That might save you some troubleshooting if you want to be able to see if there's a problem with this. But now let's do, and I've gone through, I've tested this board. I know it works and I know the CPU works. So let's add this to it. The screw, as you can see, is already in there because I did try a different uh, M.2 so that when my friend came, it was all copacetic, ready to go. So let's throw this one in there. And this is from his other machine, right? Nice little upgrade, right? He's getting a, a 7800X3D, he's GDR5, so good deal for Micro Center this is. I think I think I saw in their email today, they had another um, little price cut on this combo as well. I don't remember how much it was, but if you're looking for a 7800X3D, you're in the range of a micro center, uh, definitely check it out. I guess also if you're in a range of, you know, wanting to upgrade your computer. So then this M.2 will go here, and I need a, another little screw. So let's put this, I got the screw here for this M.2. So then we'll put this in, and then I'll bring over the case and so I left the cooler slightly connected in the case, right? This is just kind of a transplant in, but this is the, you know, the motherboard part um, getting put together. And then we just got to put it all in the case. And then we're, you know, 
get to plug it all in, right? The power supply is already in the case and uh, power cable is already routed, which makes it a little bit easier of a build, but you'll still go through all of it. So there, and then we will be putting in this card, which is a 7900 XT and uh, got this for a good deal on eBay. So there's that and let's go get the case and let's put that together. So you can see that I've taken the old parts already out of the case. I still have the cooler sitting here. Um, the fans are in, the power supply is already in. So we just have to put the motherboard in, get that screwed down, get the power connectors in, all that fun stuff. So we'll throw the board in first. And I already have some of these cables routed, so I didn't want to have to reroute everything. So that's why this is all kind of like that up. We can hook in the CPU fan since that's right there. And how this case is, this is a fractal, oh, I'm blanking on the name. I built this computer originally, so it's a fractal case. And this is using the fractal Celsius cooler for the CPU. So we can actually connect the CPU 8 pin and then the 4 pin here. That's all this board does take. Then you have the 24 pin here. And I'm going to do this before I kind of screw it all in because I want to just how, it, how everything kind of lines up. This is the USB uh, 3.0, which I'm going to have to see where this panel connector or goes over here. So we have to reroute that. But we'll get first get this all in. So this case is nice. It does have... Um, it does have a middle pin so you can align everything up. And another nice thing about this board too is that your um, graphics card slot here, the, the release is actually up and out of the way. So if you have to release the card, right, it's up out of the way, which I do appreciate that they did that. that, they did that. I do enjoy that they decided to put IO shields on because <laughs> it made it a lot easier here to kind of see stuff and kind of make sure everything's aligned, but we can start throwing in screws. So I want to get some of these screws down. And I like to make sure that I'm not going to cross thread them because when you come to take it out or want to reuse the case, you want to make it more difficult on yourself, which I guess I've done that before. So. There we go. Well, maybe it's not perfect. I thought it was. Let's see here. So I always try to make sure I line it up with the back IO shield. It's lined up with that center pin there. And then let's see this one align. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. That one goes in. Fine. Whoops. At least I have a light above me that allows me to kind of see this. So I figured out my problem. The uh, audio header down here was stuck against the um, shoe power supply shield here and uh, not allowing the motherboard go as down as I wanted to or as it should have been let's put it that way and so here we are to get everything back in correctly screws go in a lot easier when you finally put the board in right let's see here so we got this screw one more down here Let's 
So let's see. Without the cooler on, you can get some nice access from above too in this case. One nice thing about this case, why I do enjoy building in it. So let's put some thermal paste on here. And we will put, I got some Cryonaut Extreme here. And uh, it's pink. So just a little bit there. And then we can put this cooler back on while it goes down. So I had this like this before, I think. So this just uses the AM2 that's already on there. And, yep, so we got this, and now we have to find out where I dropped something. USB-C connection there. I dropped part of the cooler someplace, so I will be right back once I find it. So I found it. It was right underneath the cooler. It just fell off, but follow the instructions for your cooler and attach it how it says. So get the cooler on here. I believe this one just is all there. Bottom's out. There you go. And then we'll run the tubes and everything here. So I got USB C, everything up on top. This cord runs nice down there by the memory. We have. I'm going to stick the, the audio in, I think. This is audio. It goes this direction. And then we'll attach this right here. Okay, now we're gonna attach all the screws for the cooler. Which shouldn't be too bad here. I think I want it right about here. That's where I put it last time. The Fractal did a nice job where you can position these coolers up and down, slide it. I, I do like how they had this case. And let's see, might bring it back a little bit here. Let's see. Come on. Let's slide, let's see, let's slide it down here. That gives us a little bit of slack there. Let's tighten this one down. And then, the yeah, Fractal has a lot of, the, and it's cool, they, they came with a lot of screws, which you don't want the cool, cooler vibrating down, but I've been known to only put a few in. I'm gonna put them all in because this is not my computer and I won't be checking it just in case so but you just throw all these screws in and we have we just have to connect power then to or put in the graphics card um, connect power and just uh, see it I'll, I'll give you the final product too because there is a uh, that's kind of rounded out. This screw is not perfect, is it? No. There we go. Let's see here. We got another one. We got this. Let's see. Come on. There we go. There's another. Like I said, this this rad. There's a lot of.
screws. Let's do the top one first. We got that. We got five more screws. <laughs> There's a lot in this guy, so. But you don't have to worry about it uh, falling off. Because there's supports that, but yeah. Let's see here. Three more. And if you got questions about this board or um, CPU putting together, just leave it in the comments below. If not me, somebody else will have a suggestion of what you can take a look at what can maybe be the culprit or solution. One more, and then graphics card in. And his old card was uh, three, required three eight pins, and this one only requires two, so. We'll be pulling out one of the cards. So this goes, and everything's kind of aligned. So now you can see, right, you can easily unhook that with the cards getting so big these days. I'm actually glad uh, Gigabyte did something like that. And hopefully, I haven't had, I wanted to try a different board, but, um, whoops, I'm dropping it. I'll find that and <laughs> put it back in here. But I'll have one before I tip up the case. Actually, two. It's right here. So there, we got one more. And here we go. Oops. Again. Well, that one I'll get back. But before we power this on, we will take this one, we'll go back down, we'll do this, and uh, if you're looking at what you need for the power, uh, you know, your front panel connectors, go look that up in the manual. Those go down here, and there, I'm going to focus on those once I get this case up and take a look at it. But that's in the manual, and I don't have the manual up right now. So take a look at the manual to be able to do that. But I'm going to stop recording right now, and then you'll see the final product because everything else is already pretty much ran. And uh, I, I take it that you guys can figure out the front panel connectors and do it uh, that way. So there we have it. We have it all built here. That's the case in the fractal the cooler. All started up. As you see, we get all the party lights there to be able to do. Pretty quiet overall. I'll adjust the fan curves. There's what six, seven, eight fans in nine fans in this case. So we'll take a look at it here and uh, tune it. But that is it all put together. You can see you have the graphics card there, all, all the cables underneath, and then you have the memory in the cooler. And you can see it's going through with the lights there. That should tell you what's going on and uh, as it's flashing through i'll take a look at it and test it but that is the case all built or computer all built put together there so thanks for watching thanks for taking the time to share subscribe hit the bell icon and um, promote watch another one of my videos it really does help out the channel and i really do appreciate it until next time god bless